in a way, it is easy to preach these days. And in another way, it's very hard too. Because all I have to keep reminding you and me and of ourselves are just the, those three words of the Lord. Remain in my love. If Christ has something to say to us, at any time of the day or night, and in whatever circumstance we find ourselves in, it's just this, remain in my love. And yet, how easy it is for us to think of Christianity as something more to do with rules and regulations, laws and legislations, directives and norms when truth is to the contrary. When you kind of um, go back to the Old Testament, you hear the Lord all the time say, I shall be your God, I will be your God, and you shall be my people. He gives himself over to us as people and invites us to reciprocate that love. In other words, I remain in you, you remain in me. And even if you look at uh, the Ten Commandments, what actually strikes the human mind is, thou shall not, thou shall not, thou shall not. It all began in the Garden of Eden. You know, God would plant all these varieties of vegetation, and what does he tell Adam and Eve? supposedly our first parents. You may eat of the fruits of all the trees on the face of the earth except that one. And it's our experience, right? When we tell our children and our grandchildren, they can do anything you want except open this little box. You go into the next room and come back, it's already on the ground open. The mind always picks up what it thinks is prescription, what is prohibited, what we are not supposed to do. The forbidden fruit is always attractive. But in fact, what God has given us is permission because he wants his joy to be in us and our joy to be complete. A God of abundance, a God of providence, a God who is so very lavishly generous with us. Should I say sinfully generous? Well, that's our God. And so, let's remember that Christianity is a call to love. And in some way, our Jewish brethren got it right. In fact, a good Jew would repeat to himself five times this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might, with all your strength. And so, there's only one law, as I understand, the law of love. And all the others are but a commentary on that one law of love. Remain in me. Today, I choose to remain in Jesus. How about you?